2009 with uh, our, our program. It was founded and started by Will Hack. Uh, and since then, we've enjoyed a fairly successful program here, um, repeatedly, repeatedly uh, qualifying for World Cup. Well, the adaptation, the real-life adaptation stays fairly close to the source material in J.K. Rowling's books. Uh, all the positions are present, chaser, beater, keeper, seeker. Uh, even the snitch is present in the form of a snitch runner who will have a uh, snitch sock attached to the back of his or her shorts that the seekers have to try to grab. Um, when it first started, people were silly, running around on sticks, they just picked it off the ground, wearing capes and whatnot. Uh, as the game grew larger and people started taking more seriously a uh, more uniform set of rules and uh, regulations have been enforced such it's, as... It's definitely evolved from more of like a Harry Potter like real something that's evolved from Harry Potter to more of a sport. It was three different balls, a volleyball and a dodgeball and we use kind of like a tennis ball that's in a sock. Um, the Volleyball is the quaffle, and it's slightly deflated. Um, the dodgeballs are the bludgers, and then the tennis ball that's in the sock is the snitch, uh, and that's that's attached to a pair of shorts that someone wears, and it's on like the back of the shorts, and then the seekers have to catch it. Um, we use three dodgeballs and one volleyball, um, and then those are used between the two teams. Um, and then we have three sets of three hoops on each side, uh, a short, a medium, and a tall hoop. And you, those are the hoops you score in. The, the quaffle is used to score in the hoops. Um, you can score from either side. And that's mainly the equipment. We all use brooms. Um, some people have regular brooms. Some people use PVC pipe. Um, really just has to be um, a stick that's not metal. That's a certain in between a certain length. Um, and you just have to run with it between your legs. It is a real sport. We take it very seriously. And we love new people. Like, I mean, the coolest thing about Quidditch is you can come from any background and become a good player. We probably play eight in the fall semester. Um, and the last of those is Midwest Regionals. And that's how we would qualify for World Cup. And then in the spring, we probably have three or four. And then World Cup is in April. And that's our last tournament of the year. We have been in the semis of Midwest every year. We've been to the Sweet 16 at World Cup a few times. And last year we lost in the round of 32. Looking to improve on that this year. There's been a new rule book like every year. So like actually when it first started people would play with like capes and it was kind of, oh look, we've taken Harry Potter and made it into a sport. And now it's a legitimate competitive sport. It's the fastest growing college sport in the country. We're a sport, which is really cool, but we're also a social club. And we're one of like, I would say the most tightly knit clubs on campus. Well, this club, to me, it's kind of like almost, I guess, my second family because I came here from Michigan State like by myself, like only people from like my school or anything, and they kind of became my family, took me in. Um, and then also another like cool thing that you do, just not many people play Quidditch. I mean, you talk to someone you don't really hear, and they're about me. Oh yeah, I play Quidditch, and it's just kind of something that like makes you stand out a little more. And I guess why well, do want other people to try it? It, or like be a part of it is because it's something cool to try like later on when you're older and tell your kids like oh yeah I played Quidditch when it was just starting up like if it ever does get bigger and be like oh yeah I like went to the seventh world cup or whatever which is what I got to do last year which was really cool and I think just want other people to join because like I said it's like a family and like everyone's friendly and we all watch out for each other and, I don't know kind of cheesy but <laughs>